Jesus is my rock. That's how I roll. Welcome to another episode of California Preaching. Guys, it is the human condition to think that we have time. Oodles and oodles. There's a little fly here. I'm not happy with you. Go away. Go away. We do not have oodles and oodles of time. Timothy Keller, my beloved pastor, millions of people's beloved pastor, has taken his last breath. But his last breath was his first breath into eternity. And I know that for a fact for you, Mr. Keller. Timothy Keller literally is one of the smartest men I have ever encountered in my life. It was like being in a lecture hall listening to this man preach. And I always walked away feeling, it was like a chamber of my heart opened every single time I listened to one of his sermons. I'm a little in shock. I had a really good ugly cry about it about four days ago, and now I'm just kind of numb, and it just hasn't really settled in yet that Timothy Keller is basically asking Jesus to pass the pepper at this very moment. Keller always reminded you that you were living forgiven, but he also drove home the importance of living the excellence of a Christian. It's about your soul work here on this planet. He also spoke about scattering the seed and not always trying to chase down people to become Christians, but to look for the ones who are actually primed and ready to receive the word. So basically the way you could tell is if you start talking about God, who are the ones who are perking up and actually focusing in on, in on you and listening to what you have to say, go toward the ones who have their head up. I used to see that as a challenge. I used to be like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get that person to be a Christian. I'm not getting anyone to be a Christian. That's God's job, period. Billy actually uh, was speaking to Tim Keller for the last few months of his life. And although it was sporadic because he had uh, lots of different hospital visits, it was very impactful for Billy to be able to have conversations and obviously a great honor that he was able to do that. I know that Billy is devastated. He's so upset over this loss. I keep reminding him, yes, it is a great loss for this world, but it is a huge gain for heaven. We've been praying and listening to his sermons and it's been really awesome. Listen to these sermons. Literally, you could just scroll and pick any one. I promise you it's going to be an amazing sermon. And let's take a look at our pseudo saviors. That's what I want to talk about today also. My pseudo saviors are food. My pseudo saviors are food. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something else. I love food and I think about it a lot. I think I've always had an unhealthy relationship with food, to be honest. I would wake up and I would stand by the toaster and I would literally eat an entire loaf of bread with margarine or butter or whatever, like right next to the loaf of bread. And then I would go to the gym and I would exercise. So that was sort of my form of, you know, purging. And then I would do the whole thing all over again. And this went on for years. Photographers would always shoot like above the waist because I had a little tire and oh, it was awful. I never felt like I got full. I never had that alarm that said, you're good, you've eaten enough. I feel like I've been resorting to the food again and just waiting and obsessing over my next meal. I actually remember laughing at my therapist when she suggested that I get a nutritionist because I was like, um, yeah, she's not gonna be able to do anything for me. This is never going away. I literally thought I was gonna have to live with this disease for the rest of my life. It was remarkable. After about two months of seeing this woman, I was basically cured. I mean, she, she literally was just like, you need to be on a schedule. You need to wake up in the morning and you need to eat a little thing of yogurt and then you need to eat some fruit and then you need to eat a proper lunch. Praise be to God. I. I did get, I did get well. I remember at one point I literally thought it was gonna kill me. And that's when I had the first epiphany of like, oh my goodness, every single living human being has a divine appointment with their creator. Not one of us gets out of here alive. The gospel was preached to me. It just, it felt right because I remember thinking, this, this, this feels so incongruent with life. Timothy Keller actually taught me that it, it's because it is unnatural. It's because that's not the way God built us. God did not build us to die. He built us to live eternally. You're spot on if you feel like death is wrong or does not feel right or just feels um, terrifying. 
Timothy Keller, he said, you know, most Christians are like a vaccination. They have just enough Christ in them to not have the real thing. Some of you might be like, what? If you're a Christian, you have Christ and you have the real thing. True. But I think what he meant by that was, and forgive me if I'm saying this wrong, Christians feel like they can get by with just enough religion or just enough faith or just enough of a relationship with God. But that's not what Jesus wants for us. Passionate, intimate, live wire relationship with him that is going on all throughout the day. Do we ask ourselves, where am I at with Jesus right now? That is an activated relationship with God. My family is temperamental, half temper, half mental. And <laughs> that's just the truth. And I completely qualify for that as well. I can be taken on this like, you know, wild toad ride throughout the day. The most important thing is what am I anchored in? Am I anchored in Christ. I'm standing on anything other than the rock of Jesus. I am standing on sinking sand. It is crumbling sand beneath my feet. Well, I've talked about radical surrender a few times on Cal Preach and radical surrender is basically surrendering to something in a way that you have never surrendered to it before, where you truly maybe even get down on your knees, um, imagine it at the cross, imagine it at the feet of Jesus, and you just say, Lord, I truly hand this over to you. I just want to encourage you guys to do a radical surrender today. I need to join you. I've got a few things that I need to radically surrender. I miss my children back in California. I'm feeling a little stuck and stressed about certain things in my career, but it is about radical surrender. You know, when you break a bone, it's stronger than it was before you broke it when it heals. So just keep that in mind. On California Healing this week, we talked a lot about how sometimes we don't even realize that we're walking around and that we're like leaking. Like literally we have holes in, in our spirit and we don't even realize that we have these holes in our spirit. And we are depleting ourselves constantly, but we don't even realize it's happening. We're just leaking. And then we suddenly hit a wall and we don't realize that we're like, how could this have happened? And it's because we don't realize that our armor has holes in it. Take some time to ask yourself if your armor has any holes in it. And if your armor does have holes, again, compassion, you know, absolutely no condemnation in Christ, but you might want to ask yourself, actually much better to ask God how you can patch up those holes in your armor and in your faith walk because sometimes those holes are undetectable when we hit a wall and we're like i just don't understand how this could have happened i was reading my bible i was praying i was you know in fellowship but sometimes there's a hole that is masked as something else so just don't be deceived and make sure that you're taking good inventory and asking yourself, okay, am I truly armored up? Is there anything that I can do to strengthen my, my faith in God? Is there anything that I can do to clean up my life? If you're feeling disconnected from God, celebrate. I know that sounds so strange and kind of counterintuitive, but celebrate. And the reason why I want you to celebrate, thank you, Tim Keller, for sharing this with us, is because if you feel disconnected from God, it's only because you know what it feels like to feel connected to God. So it's actually something to celebrate because your faith is so mature that you're able to recognize when you feel distant. And that was an eye opener for me where I was like, oh my goodness, I have to sort of redefine. When I start to feel disconnected from God, I want to stop and say, thank you. Thank you that I know what it feels like to be separated from you. you know, even though it's all an illusion, because I'm not separated from God, God, there's nothing that can separate us from the love of Christ, but yet I can feel that way. I just wanna acknowledge to everybody that I know this video has been shaky and it's all my fault and I'm really sorry the camera's been shaking. I have it on this kind of like pillow pad. 
not working. I will never do it again in Jesus' name. I'm so sorry. And guys, California Preaching Connect is coming in July, and I'm really excited about it because it's going to give all of us an opportunity to grow even deeper in the Lord and to be able to make the connections, not just here in the comments, which is amazing, but to be able to actually have a community um, a platform where we can all interact with one another and it'll be a live event and it will be, um, yeah, affordable and uh, just a wonderful way for everybody to get recharged. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on that and I will let you know when there is a link for sign up. I pray that this video has blessed you. I pray that you will watch the Timothy Keller, um, actually listen, to the Timothy Keller sermons. There's 400 plus of them uh, in podcast in your iPhone. If you have an iPhone, take advantage of that. Yeah, please give to his ministry. All of the information is in the link in the description. And remember that even a wildflower can bloom in the desert. And peace of Hi, my eternal friends. I pray you liked that video. And if you did, I pray that you will share it, give it a thumbs up, and maybe even subscribe. Uh, but even more importantly, I want to tell you about California Healing. California Healing is a live Zoom call that takes place every single Thursday. We meet from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Pacific, and then from 12.30 to 2.30 Eastern. We have 16 spots left, you guys. If you sign up between April and May, you will receive a free t-shirt off my website. This is one of my favorites, the Jesus Influencer shirt. And I would love to give you a CD called China and Vaughn. It's a Christian CD that I made many moons ago, but it's very Holy Spirit activated music. I think you'll love it. And of course, it will be autographed. I pray that you'll check it out. It's really an incredible group of ladies. We worship, we pray, we take communion, we have a bionic Bible study, we have share time, and then we have a WhatsApp thread throughout the week that we all keep in touch with. So it is a really, really fantastic group of ladies, and I would love to see you there. The link to sign up for California Healing Revelation is right here in the description. Peace of God.